everyone and welcome back to our channel Arjun Automobile, a channel of YouTube on which we discuss about each and every parts of an automobile. So in order to that, today we are going to discuss a very important part of a transmission system. Actually, guys, we are, go we are going to discuss about uh, types of gearbox, and today we are going to discuss about the sliding mesh gearbox. So guys, if you want to learn about the skill box, as always, please sit back, relax and watch our video till the very last second. So guys, our today's topic is sliding mesh gearbox. Guys, gearbox is a very important part of our transmission system. So today we are going to discuss about the sliding mesh gearbox. So guys, please have a look on this diagram. This diagram shows the position of gearbox. Guys, this one is the engine, after that flywheel, then clutch, and then this gearbox is situated. The gearbox transmits the power from the engine to the wheels with the help of this propeller shaft and differential in a different ratios. So if we want different speeds and torque, so we have to use the gearbox. So guys, in the sliding mesh gearbox, here we are showing three gears through which our vehicle can move forward and fourth one is a reverse gear through which our vehicle can move backward. So guys, let's have a look on the construction of sliding mesh gearbox. In this gearbox, basically three shafts are present. First one is a clutch shaft, second main shaft and third is a lay shaft or a counter shaft so guys a gear connected with the clutch shaft is called clutch gear which is shown here by a and another gear which is connected to the counter shaft or lay shaft is shown here by the b guys this both gears are kept in contact in every time that's why it is shown here by the green color and then the orange color gears are connected with the counter shaft or lay shaft and the pink color gear shown here which are connected with the main shaft so guys here some conditions are possible for moving of a vehicle so first of all power comes from the engine as entered through this gear which is a is also called clutch gear and transmit it to the gear number b guys these gears are always kept in contact that's why always it's in moving condition but our vehicles are rest in condition at that time and this position is called neutral position at the neutral position our vehicle can't move but engine can start so now if we want to move ahead so we have to select first gear so guys for selection of the first gear power comes from the clutch shaft to clutch gear and then transmitted it to the counter shaft means this counter shaft is continuously rotating so for selection of the gear number first gear d of the main shaft is moved ahead with the help of the selector mechanism and mesh with the gear C and after meshing of the gear C and D our first gear takes place and our vehicle move forward the gear 1 is also called load gear guys you can have a look here for the selection of the first gear power transmitted from A B C D means A B which is always kept in contact then C and D after meshing with these gears first gear can be selected and now and now for the selection of the second gear power should be transmitted to a b e f a b e f so the gear f of the main shaft should move backward in a direction to match with the e and when this e and f mesh with each other second gear is selected and now at the condition of the third gear now with the help of selector mechanism this gear F is moved forward and coupled with gear A and uh, power is tra directly transmitted to the main shaft to the propeller shaft and then differential to the wheel the third gear is a condition of maximum power transmitted 
to the gearbox in the third gear only we can get the highest speed and now at the condition of fourth gear means for selection of the fourth gear which is reverse gear we have to transmit power from a b g and d guys for the reverse gear here we use the idler gear which is an additional gear so now power is transmitted to a to b then g then d but in between g and d here we use the idler gear which oppose the rotation of g means if this shaft is rotating in the anti clockwise direction and mesh with this gear then we got the clockwise direction to move ahead but with the help of idler gear if we rotate in the anti clockwise direction this rotates in the clockwise direction and this gear again rotate in the anti clockwise direction means same rotation is got with this three gears or with this idler gear so guys this one is a fourth gear or a reverse gear so guys this is sliding mesh gear box okay so thanks for watching guys our today's video if you like this video please give us a big fat thumbs up share with your friends and subscribe our channel thank you so much i will see you to the next week